Major developments in the prosecution of those rioters involved in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Tonight, a judge has issued the longest sentence yet. This went to a former New York City police officer who assaulted another police officer. More than a year and a half after the Capitol riot, nearly 250 people have been sentenced for their roles in the insurrection. But former NYPD officer Thomas Webster, seen here holding a flagpole, will now serve 10 years behind bars for injuring a D.C. officer. It comes as a second rioter today pleaded guilty to assaulting Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who died the next day. The man seen in video using bear spray on officers. And then in Texas today, a top lawyer for the Oath Keepers has been arrested and charged with conspiracy. ABC's Martha Raddatz leading us off. He was a New York City police officer and former U.S. Marine. But tonight, Thomas Webster faces 10 years in prison for brutally assaulting a law enforcement officer on January 6th, the longest prison sentence to date for a January 6th defendant. Webster, caught on police body camera, wore a bulletproof vest and was armed with a metal flagpole flying the flag of the Marine Corps. Shouting an expletive at the officer before pushing over the barricade and attempting to hit the officer with the flagpole. Webster later breaking through and tackling the officer to the ground as he violently tried to remove the officer's shield and mask. Prosecutors had sought 17 and a half years for Webster, who at one time was on Mayor Bloomberg's security detail. The news comes as a second man charged in the attack on Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick pleaded guilty today. Video showed Julian Cater deploying bear spray at three officers on January 6th, including Sicknick. Sicknick's colleague, Officer Caroline Edwards, testifying before the House January 6th Select Committee earlier this summer. I turned and it was Officer Sicknick with his head in his hands. And he was ghostly pale. Footage from January 6th showed Sicknick recoiling after being hit with the spray and pouring water in his eyes. He died the next day of natural causes. And tonight, more charges for the anti-government militia, the Oath Keepers, a newly unsealed indictment revealing one of its top lawyers has been charged with conspiracy in the January 6th riot. Kelly Sorrell had said she was cooperating with the U.S. government against the Oath Keepers, but a member of the militia group later implicated her in an alleged cover-up. Okay, and Martha Raddatz joining us live from Washington tonight. Martha, sources are telling our ABC team that two Trump White House lawyers are set to appear before a federal grand jury tomorrow. All of this part of this January 6th investigation? That's right, Cecilia. It's a dramatic escalation in the DOJ's probe, DOJ's probe into the January 6th riot. Former White House counsel Pat Cipollone and former Deputy White House counsel Pat Philbin were subpoenaed by a federal grand jury investigating the attack on the Capitol. Cecilia. Martha Raddatz leading us off tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.